It's a store. So, I don't know how real we want to get. <laughs> I was still working at Mubango and I uh, was working with a friend of mine, Simpiwe, my sister in the industry, Simpiwe Ngema. I was friends with Dumsani at the time and one of their people in the crew at Generations was leaving the production, so they were throwing her a farewell party. He then invites us, come to the house, chill with us, meet some people. I think also it's my second year in Joburg. I'm very fresh. We go to the party. It's a nice party. And I had seen and heard of Baby Daddy on TV. He was the guy playing the gay storyline on Generations, so he was super trending at the time. And the minute I saw him, I was like, <gasps> yes, tonight is a night. Two minutes later, some other lady walks in. Turns out that's who he was with that night. So immediately I back off because people's things are not to be taken. At some point during this party, I am now bored and slightly jealous. You don't want to see this. So I'm just going to leave. I'm looking for Dumsani, the host, upstairs so I can tell him I'm leaving. I open doors, I open doors, I get to like a third door. Is it not her and him kissing? in the room. I'm like, girl, you ain't serious? Watch this. I went downstairs. I went straight to this guy, baby daddy. I said, may I please uh, make a call with your phone? I just need to call my cousin to fetch me. Proceeded to send myself a call back, gave him his phone, and I left. And I texted him. I said, I took your number. And I never told him what I found upstairs. I just let that fizzle itself out. And 10 years, two babies later. Oh. <laughs> I told you I've lived a very colorful life. <laughs>